Mary and Jane are old friends. They have both been married to their husbands for a long time. Mary is upset because she thinks her husband doesn't find her attractive anymore. As I get older he doesn't bother to look at me. Mary cries. I'm so sorry for you. As I get older my husband says I get more beautiful every day. Replies Jane. Yes, but your husband's an antique dealer. John and Mary decided to go shopping together in the city for the first time in 20 years. When they arrived in the downtown area where all the stores were, John said, How about we go our separate ways for a bit, and I'll call you in a while. Mary amused herself window shopping for a couple of hours when finally her phone rang. Where are you? she asked. Do you remember when we came here 20 years ago? said John. You saw that beautiful diamond bracelet in a shop window. But the kids were small, money was tight, and we couldn't afford it. And I said that one day I'd come back and buy it just for you? Of course I remember, said Mary. Do you remember which jewelry store that was? asked John. Now Mary was getting excited. Oh yes! Well, said John, I'm in the pub next door, but I've run out of money. Can you come around and buy me another beer? An elderly gentleman was on his deathbed as his wife, three children, and a nurse stood close by. Then he spoke. Bill, you take the Beverly Hills houses. Mary, you take the offices in the center center. Deborah, the apartments over the LA Plaza are yours. To my dear wife, take all the residential buildings near downtown. The nurse was really impressed. She said, your husband must have been quite a man, amassing so much property to leave to all of you. And the wife responded, What property? The schmuck had a paper root. <laughs> Lady Mary strolled down the path to where the young gardener was pruning the roses. Hello, Thomas. Good morning, your ladyship. You know, Thomas, ever since you've come to work for us, I've been afraid that you would force me to kiss you, she said conversationally. Oh, your ladyship. How could I do that with a pair of scissors in one hand and a bag of clippings in the other? He replied. Well, she mused, you could put the secateur on the bench and rest the clippings against that tree. <laughs> a friend of mine who was an officer invited me for a ride along. As we were driving along, he told me, I've been a cop for almost 20 years now. I can follow anyone. And I mean anyone for just one mile down the road and I can find something I can cite them for. I said prove it, so he started following the next guy he saw. After a mile, he said, I can't believe it, he didn't do a single thing wrong. I'm going to pull him over and let him know. He pulls the guy over, goes up to him, and says, Sir, I'm sorry I pulled you over. I just wanted to compliment you. I followed you for a while and not once did you speed change lanes without signaling, or do anything else deserving of a citation. I rarely see this so I wanted to thank you for your safe driving. The guy looks up at him and replies, Well, you've got to be careful when you're drunk. <laughs> a scrawny teenage boy asks his muscular friend how he gets so many girls to sleep with him. The muscular friend says, Here's what you do, next time there's a party. Get a large potato, stick it down your pants, and act normal. You'll see that'll turn you into a chick magnet. A minute later, all the girls at the party run away from the scrawny kid, screaming and laughing and pointing. If you the muscular friend the sees this Come and on. comes over to Subscribe his scrawny now. friend. Dude, uploads. he says, you have to put the potato in the front. A friend of mine called and asked for $500 to pay the rent. Yesterday, a friend called and asked if I could loan her $500 to help pay her rent. I wanted to be helpful to someone in such need. I told her, let me check my account, and Elle will call you right back. Before I could double check, her sister called and said, don't give her any money because she's lying. Her sister told me that she wants to use the $500 to get her boyfriend out of jail so they can be together for her birthday. I thought about it for a minute, then decided to go ahead and give her the $500. A few minutes ago, she called me from the local jail, crying about being arrested. 
She started screaming, asking, Why did I give her counterfeit money? I replied, So you and your man could be together for your birthday. <laughs> Three friends are in a hotel room in Soviet Russia. The first two men open a bottle of vodka, while the third is tired and goes straight to bed. He is unable to sleep, however, as his increasingly drunk friends tell political jokes loudly. After a while, the tired man gets frustrated and walks downstairs for a smoke. He stops in the lounge and asks the receptionist to bring tea to their room in five minutes. The man walks back into the room, joins the table, leans towards a power outlet, and speaks into it. Comrade Major, we want some tea in room 62, please. His friends laugh at the joke until there is a knock on the door. The receptionist brings a teapot. His friends fall silent and pale, horrified by what they just witnessed. The party is dead, and the man goes to sleep. After a good night's rest, the man wakes up and notices his friends are gone. Surprised, he walks downstairs and asks the receptionist where they went. The nervous receptionist whispers that the KGB came and took them before dawn. The man is horrified. He wonders why he was spared. The receptionist responds, Well, Comrade Major did quite like your tea joke. <laughs> A rich man, after 50 years of marriage, once looked at his wife and said, 50 years ago, we had a small house and an old car. We slept on the couch and watched a small black and white TV. But every night I went to bed with a beautiful 19-year-old girl. Now I have a huge expensive house, many expensive cars, a huge bed in a luxurious bedroom, and a widescreen color TV. But I share a bed with a 69-year-old woman. I'm starting to doubt my marriage. His wife suggested. You can find yourself a 19-year-old girl, and I will make sure that you live again in a small house, sleep on a sagging sofa, and watch black and white TV. <laughs> Many animals are waiting in line in front of a store in the forest. Bears, foxes, wolves, hedgehogs, etc. A rabbit pushes through the queue. He pushes the other animals with his elbows and jumps to the beginning of the queue. At this point, a bear catches him and says, You bunny, no cheating. To the end of the queue. The rabbit is thrown back to the end of the queue. Again, he pushes through the queue and jumps to the beginning. But again, the bear catches him and throws him to the back. Finally, the sore rabbit dusts off and says to himself, Damn, I'm not opening the store today. <laughs>